Hey there, everybody. How's it going? It's Thursday. It's March 18th. There's not just college basketball today. There's also hockey. And there's a lot of hockey games. So whoever commented and were like, hey, please do hockey. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about it. A lot of games today. What do we see? We see that Buffalo is a miserable, miserable team with, that's right, zero wins in the last 15 days. And it looks like one win in the last 30 days. If you've only won one game in the last month, Take a look at the moon. Boston's probably going to win that game. That's why their line's minus 265. It's tough. Tough line. Philadelphia and the Islanders. Look at how close it thinks this game is. I don't understand because didn't Philly just lose 9 nothing last night to the Rangers? So something's wrong with Philadelphia. I'd be careful here. The Islanders are a very good team. I have n I do not understand. Is this because they're playing Sorokin instead of Varlamov? So, okay, that's why. So Sorokin and Ned, if he's unconfirmed, that might create some goals in this game, so watch for the over probably in that, Which, but never listen to me. Always listen to the algorithm. Remember that. Uh, Columbus and Carolina likes Carolina. Carolina playing very well still. Columbus not playing well. Minus 190 is actually pretty reasonable money line for this game. Uh, Nedjevic in net, he's not their stronger goalie, though, so that's why I'd probably look for an over there. There it is really predicting an over. So what is the over-under in that game? Columbus, Carolina... Five and a half? What? Oh, God, take the over in that game. That's a, that's a pick of the David Terry over there. Because with Nick Devick and Nett likely not their better goalie, there's going to be more goals in this game because of this and teams with a good offense. Although it's, Columbus doesn't have good offense, but Carolina does. This game gets over five and a half. Chicago and Tampa Bay, I don't know why it's so skewed toward Tampa Bay. I looked at this earlier, and I guess Tampa Bay is a really strong team. They find ways to win. I don't think they're going to win by four goals against Chicago. I don't think that, but but for some reason, it says they're just going to overpower them, so the, the line's bad. I, I wouldn't, I don't know, what list, never listen to me. Always. Nashville and Florida. Florida overpowering. Totally. Um, look at the, all the green here. Florida team that's streaking, streaking well, scoring goals. That's their good goalie confirmed. This is a negative teams. Not the worst line on here, but that's a really strong pick if you're in parlays and stuff. Florida to win. Pittsburgh against New Jersey. Tough game to pick, but New Jersey, you can see just a mediocre team not playing well. So Pittsburgh, if they're in any position needing to win that game, Pittsburgh probably does it, but it's, it's not one of the stronger versus weaker picks, you know. Dallas versus Detroit. Two awful teams, um, <laughs> two awful teams that don't want to win. So in that case, you see Detroit plus one sixty eight. Think about it because these are two terrible teams. So somebody's going to win. Minnesota versus Colorado likes Colorado. I don't like the line versus the comparison here. Although it does say almost four to one. Why Minnesota hasn't been playing that bad? I don't agree with the algorithm here, guys. Look at how well Minnesota's been playing over the last fifteen days. Actually, been playing better than Colorado over the last 30 and 15 days. So, something about this projected score, I don't really understand what the algorithm is doing. Cam Talbot, maybe in net instead of their other goalie, uh, Dubnik or whoever. No, Dubnik's with San Jose now. Minnesota's other goaltender is. Let's find out the answer to that question. Minnesota's goaltender's options are. Kakonen or Talbot? And Kakonen is better, I think. So, yeah, he's, he's been playing more. So that's the reason for that is that Talbot is playing. So Colorado definitely wins according to the algorithm. But maybe there'll be more goals there because of that. Minnesota could try to come in and outscore them. I don't know. It's just a tougher game to pick because you can see how well Minnesota is playing with the other goalie most of the time. Winnipeg and Edmonton. It's a really close game. Edmonton's been letting you down a lot, but Koskin is. I don't like this line on Edmonton. It's only slightly favoring them. Winnipeg's okay, but hasn't been playing as great as they did 15, 25, 35 days ago. Aiden Miller and Ryan. Aiden Hill and Ryan Miller. Here, look at how weak these teams are and weak the goalies are. Still, only predicts 5.2 goals. I, I don't know. Anaheim led up eight, I think, to Colorado the other day. I would actually think an over here. It's, it's under predicting this because these teams are so bad, but they're putting in like fourth string goaltenders in this game, right? They're just pulling people out of the stands at this point. Ryan Miller was good back in the 90s. Like this is a long time ago. So I, I, I would expect it over there, but don't listen to me. I always listen to the algorithm. Anyway, 
that's your hockey update for today. I mean, what's been going on in the past? Quick glance, like yesterday, it went four and two. Um, I, I'd seen some good things. I just haven't been paying attention to it because I've been in a state where you can't wager and I haven't been watching any games. Four and three the day before. Then there was a six and three day. Um, some of the close games it's losing here. You can see that. Yeah, what happened here? Nashville beat Tampa Bay. Did that happen? How did Nashville beat Tampa Bay 4-1? to one? Did these goaltenders actually play? I don't know. I have to go look back. You can see how that was a minus 315 line and Tampa Bay somehow lost. God, whoever. Dude, that's so sad. But yeah, that was a weird game. So anyway. All right, guys. Good luck, everybody. Got to run.